The first clinical manifestation of heart disease may be the discovery of an abnormal sound on auscultation. This may be incidental or may be prompted by symptoms of heart disease. Clinical evaluation is helpful, but an echocardiogram is often necessary to confirm the nature of an abnormal heart sound. Cardiac auscultation is performed systematically over four main locations on the anterior chest wall, which is aortic valve area, which is second right intercostal space, pulmonic valve area, which is second left intercostal space, tricuspid valve area, which is fourth intercostal space, and mitral valve area, which is fifth intercostal space, left mid clavicular line. By using the stethoscopes, diaphragm, switching to the bell to hear lower pitch sounds. The two major sounds heard in the normal heart sound in the auscultation is like lob dub. The lob is the first heart sound, commonly termed S1, and is caused by the closure of mitral and tricuspid valves at the start of systole. It's best heard in fourth intercostal space and fifth intercostal space in midclavicular line, which is the area of tricuspid and mitral valves, which is usually single or narrowly split sound. The second sound, dub or S2, is caused by the closure of aortic and pulmonic valves. Its characteristic is single sound on expiration and split on expiration due to increase in venous returns thus delay of pulmonary valve. When listening to the first and second heart sounds with the diaphragm of the stethoscope, note the intensity of each sound. If it's a single or split sound, and note any respiratory variation. Initially, auscultation should be conducted with the patient in spine position. The head of the bed raised 15 to 30 degrees and the diaphragm of the stethoscope pressed firmly against the chest wall. Normal findings have been derived from this position. All other positions are considered maneuvers to further identify cardiac pathology. Auscultation should proceed in a systematic fashion from either apex to base or vice versa. The first heart sound is loudest at the apex in some condition like hyperdynamic circulation, anemia or pregnancy, mitral stenosis, there may be loud first heart sound. Soft first heart sound could be heard in heart failure and mitral regurgitation. In the normal heart, during expiration, the second sound, S2, is usually single, but during inspiration, is made of two component sounds. Aortic valve closure A2, which happens first. Pulmonic valve closure P2, which happens second. Normally, P2 is soft and only heard in the pulmonic region, left second intercostal space. However, even in this region, A2 is louder. Some pathological findings in second heart sound including first increased intensity of P2 which P2 is louder than A2 at pulmonic region in the second intercostal space like in pulmonary hypertension which is most common cause. Second, wide splitting detected by presence of splitting during expiration wider during expiration. Anything that causes delayed conduction down the right bundle like in a case of right bundle branch block. There's also a third and fourth heart sound, and because of the rhythmic timing, often S3 and S4 are called galloops. Galloops are low frequency sounds that are associated with diastolic filling. Relatively rapid ventricular filling occurs during two divisions of diastole. First, the rapid filling period which follows opening of atrial ventricular valves and second, the period of atrial contraction. Therefore, two types of gallop exist and are named rapid filling or ventricular gallop S3 and atrial gallop S4 respectively. Both are diastolic in timing. After the initial cardiac evaluation, 
Patients should be examined in the left lateral decubitus position with the diaphragm and bell of the stethoscope. With the patient in this position, the examiner should listen specifically and selectively for S3 or S4. These sounds may be found only in this position and heard only with the bell. An S3 is a sound that occurs after the diastole S2 duped sound, and it is low pitch that best heard at the apex of heart by bell of stethoscope. caused by rapid ventricular filling due to tension of ventricles that enough to produce sound vibrations within the myocardial wall. It may be physiological in young people and pregnancy or pathological in heart failure or mitral regurgitation. The fourth heart sound is due to atrial contraction inducing ventricular filling towards the end of diastole just before S1 which low pitch sound that they are never audible in normal subjects. A fourth heart sound is the result of powerful atrial contraction filling a stiff ventricle, like in case of severe left ventricular hypertrophy, for example, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. But the absence of a gallop rhythm should not be used to indicate the absence of left ventricular dysfunction and certainly cannot replace other diagnostic testing. You can also have both an S3 and S4 sound. This is called a summation gallop, which is very rare. Other sounds include systolic clicks in early or mid systole, which is brief, high intensity sound that occurs in. Aortic and pulmonary stenosis, floppy mitral valve, prosthetic heart sounds from opening and closing of normally functioning mechanical valves. But this may be lost when stenotic valve becomes thickened or calcified. Last sound is opening snap. which in early in diastole and it's different from S3 because it's high pitch sound that occurs due to opening of stenosed leaflets of mitral valve and prosthetic heart valve.